Hi guys, it's Karen here with my next iPad lettering tutorial. Today I want to show you how you can create your own monthly calendars. Um, I have created a bunch of Procreate templates with calendar grids and I'm going to show you how to use them. As always, you can find me on Instagram under at iPad lettering and then also on my website which is iPadLettering.com. Now the first thing I want to do is show you some of the templates I've already made or some of the um, designs I've already made. So this is what the templates look like and they have custom backgrounds. So this one here is just a, a bit of an abstract artistic background. And then I have made one with just a photo that I've chosen. So this one here has got a photo. And then I have made another one. This one is just... Um, a white one and has got a bit of an artistic background that sort of shows through the grid and in this tutorial I'm going to show you all of these three options right so let's get started and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to import one of our, our calendar templates and I'm going to import them and I've got them all here so now because I've done January February March already let's do April I'm going to choose my April template and when you first open the template or the um, Procreate file you'll see that it's just quite plain sort of black on white um, but the good thing is you can customize this any way you want it's got a transparent background so that means anything that you put behind the template is going to show through all right so for this first one I'm going to create a bit of an abstract background so we are going to create a new layer and we're going to turn the um, the grid off and then I'm choosing this Nico Rao brush and just start painting away and I'm just going to create a bit of texture here with the previous um, artwork that I've shown you I've actually spent quite a bit of time painting it um, but because this is I don't want to spend too much time doing this I'm just going to do it quickly but obviously the more time you spend on doing this the nicer it's going to get so now here I'm just trying to create a bit of a gradient from the top to bottom and then go back to black and create something here like this and then black and white is a little, little bit boring, so I am going to add another layer and I'm going to fill it with my favorite hot pink color. So, and then um, I'm going to try out some blend modes. So there's a few options you can choose. One of the ones that looks quite cool is overlay. So this gives you a kind of a, a bright, um, bright color. So what you can do here now is if you if you think this is too bright you can either change the opacity and just bring it down a bit so that you've just got this a bit of slight pink hue on it or alternatively you can choose a different blend mode so let's bring your opacity back to 100% and then choose the multiply blend mode and I quite like this so I'm going to leave it like this now obviously you can create a lot more layers for example what you could do is create another layer and then fill it with a different color let's say let's fill it with yellow for example and then again you can then choose different blend modes and opacities to um, create different effects so this one I think this one looks quite cool if you choose color burn like that um, and then once you're happy with it you can turn the calendar grid back on so now I'm going to um, turn it back on and you see also here that I've actually made two different versions of the calendar grid I have got um, one that starts the week on a Monday and then I've also got one that starts the week on a Sunday and de depending on your preference you can just turn one or the other layer on or off now um, it's a little bit hard to see your grid because of the dark background so now what we're going to do is we can change the color 
of the grid. So you do that by selecting the layer and then locking the alpha channel by swiping to the right with two fingers. And you can see that it worked. Um, Rani has these this checkered background that shows that the background is now transparent. Now I would like to create a white grid, so I'm just going to choose white and choose fill. Oops, that didn't quite work. Fill. Alright, here we go. Third time lucky. And um, now your calendar is nice and visible. The next technique I would like to show you is just importing one of your favorite photos as a background. And to do that, you choose your actions, insert flat image, and then um, go to your photos. And I'm just going to choose one of my holiday photos here. I've got a big selection. And I'm going to choose this nice sunset here. Um, now, you have to make sure that your image is behind your calendar layer. So you can just pull it below that and now you see that you've got the um, photo behind your calendar. Now for me this is a little bit um, too bright and I would like to see my calendar grid just a little bit more come through. So to do that I'm going to create a new layer and fill it with black. So this is just going to create a, um, a black overlay. And now I'm going to change the opacity as, until my image comes through. So for this one here, this just depends on your preference, how much of the grid versus how much of the background image you'd like to see. And I usually like to see my grid a li little bit more, so I'm just changing the opacity slider until I'm happy with it, like this. And now for the third technique, I'm going to first turn off my layers that I don't like anymore. And I'm going to turn it all off and I'm going to create a new layer. And I'm just going to create an abstract background. To do that, I'm going to choose a different brush, um, choose this one. And then I'm just going to paint some abstract colors. And you can go reasonably wild with this. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't have to be too precise. Just um, choose a color combination that you like. And then fill your canvas. And make it a little bit yellow as well. And some more pink, of course. Alright, and then we're going to create another new layer that we're going to fill with white. And I'm filling it with white. And now what we want to do is we want to make our calendar grid come through the white layer and reveal the um, abstract layer that we've created underneath. And to do that, I'm going to choose um, the layer that I have already locked the alpha channel on. So now if you wanted to choose the other layer, you'd have to then first lock the alpha channel as well to see the checkered background. But I want to have my Monday start, which I have already locked the alpha channel on. Now all I do is I go select and you can see now how it's selected only the visible pixels on this layer. And then on my white layer, I'm going to choose clear. And now you can see the background coming through. All right, I hope this was helpful and um, you enjoy making your own calendars. You can find the templates for every month um, on my website, which is ipadlettering.com. And if you do use um, the calendar templates and you'd like to show them on Instagram, please make sure you tag me. My handle is at ipadlettering. All right, have fun. Happy New Year, everyone. And I'll see you next time.